All right, so we just finished doing our histograms and looking at um, what we ended up with in the last time. We took our two quantitative variables and were able to um, look at, you know, these are frequencies on this one and percentage on this one. I'm going to actually um, go ahead and run all so that it does the percent. I changed it here, but it didn't change in the output. There we go. So we've got percentages on the y-axis so that we can see for each of those ages what percent of the um, distribution, what percent of the data set for that variable fall into these different ages. And similarly here for the sibling number, and just as a review, um, this is bimodal, and this one is very clearly skewed right. All right, so what we're going to jump into next is it's going to be a similar looking chart. It's going to have, um, um, well, let me just pull it up and look at it. So I've got um, one slide on this on this same slide presentation. I've got one slide for one of my categorical variables and one slide for my other categorical variables. Um, and you'll see that it's still a, a bar. Now I have counts here as opposed to um, percentages, but um, instead of having numbers down here on the x-axis, it's these categories. And because we have already formatted our, our categorical variables, um, we can see that um, the, the names of those, uh, you know, the, the words that correspond to what this is about um, is underneath each thing rather than the number. Um, I don't even remember what the number codes were. We're now using the, the words. Don't need to do that for quantitative. Don't need to um, format for quantitative. These numbers are perfect. I can see the ages, or I'm sorry, I can see the sibling numbers for, for these different people. Um, you know, a few people had 20 siblings. Um, easy to see. Okay, so the code, um, I spent a lot of time just talking, but the code is, is really simple on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and copy that and go over to my program and um, insert another code block and copying and pasting from the slide. I'm wondering if it's going to put some stuff that I don't want in there. Nah, it looks pretty good. So the, the three things that we have going on here, the first one is the thing that actually creates the plot itself. So I'm going to go ahead and, and run this, make sure it's working correctly. It is. Um, and so the, um, the first one is the one that makes the plot. It says, okay, what variable are we listing on the x-axis here? In this case, um, eyewear. And, and what data frame are you using to get that data? DF. So count plot. Um, is the is the um, name of the function in Seaborn? So again, we're using Seaborn. Um, count plot is the the function that does this bar chart for that. Um, the other two are just putting some details on this to give us a sense of what we're what we're doing. So the X label, we're putting glasses and contact use. Um, if we wanted to say um, something else. Um, what eyewear you use. You know, let me just change it real quickly. What eyewear people use. Um, revision correction. I'll just make it a little long. In quotes, Python doesn't care what I write here. Whatever I write here, it's going to write at the bottom. And there it is, what I wear people use for vision correction. They either, they either wear eyeglasses or contact lenses or both or neither. And then this last one um, is just the title of the entire thing. So when I screenshot this, I want to include both this X um, axis label and the, the title because it, it illustrates a little bit what the chart is about. Okay, um, I'm going to stop here. Ah, what the heck, I will, I've st I'm not quite at five minutes, so I'll go ahead and do my other one as well. Um, and instead of copying it from here, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy it from here to illustrate 
what it would be like to change to a different variable. So my other categorical variable is asthma. Um, the X label is, um, I think the question itself is kind of nice. I know it's more than just asthma. Um, it's it's um, emphysema and um, chronic bron bronchitis, I think, but that makes for a really long uh, title um, or label here for the x-axis. And then um, the title is bar graph of um, asthma diagnosis. There we go. All right. Take care, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Bye.